already going right into it with Jen versus Fawn. Uh, starting over on, uh, on his regular battlefield, going all, good old Duck Hunt against Palu. Uh, yeah, this is a big matchup that Fawn does not want to deal with, with any of the other of their characters. Duck Hunt, really nice, clean, uh, does, does, gets the job done. And as we know, Jen comes back every once in a while. I'm always happy to see Jen. And Jen's Palu, we know Jen's Palu. We do know Jen's Palu. We know Jen's Palu. Absolutely one of the best out there. But right now, Fawn is showing us this amazing Duck Hunt play right now. Already just doing so much work. Jen has just not gotten to play the game thus far. Uh-uh, no. Something about Duck Hunt is so difficult to deal with are those Clay Pigeons and the uh, Slime. Oh my god. And the Cans up as well on the ledge. Good yes. placement. Just hitting it with like the single hit of the up air, and that mm -hmm. time Jen going high. Fawn unfortunately not able to capitalize off of it. Completely agreed. Thankfully, Jen able to dash attack and interrupt the Gunslinger. But however, Fawn doing just well, you know, catching and Ooh. into a uh, forward throw into the can, taking Jen's first dock. Now, Jen has to take the lead back because Paulo does not want to be any kind of disadvantage uh, against someone like Duck Hunt. Once Duck Hunt's an advantage, it's, it's, it's just a barrage of projectiles and gunslingers and, and up airs, you know? Yeah, and I mean, I do absolutely agree with uh, Fawn's choice of Duck Hunt for this matchup because, I mean, there Duck Hunt go. has. Well, okay, maybe not off stage, but in these sort of like long combo strings that we typically see from Palutena, and especially the, that we'll see on like Battlefield, you know, Duck Hunt's got some pretty good reversals, like uh, Can coming out, the Neutral Air is a great uh, get off me tool, and Play Pigeon even. I completely agree, and we're, we're seeing Jen kind of struggle a little bit um, with getting into Fawn's space. They are doing a very good job at keeping a really good distance uh, from Jen, because, you know, Jen has, you know, uh, the Omega oh, oh, projectiles, they have explosive flame as well off stage. But where Jen is going to be really wanting to uh, challenge Duck Hunt is in the air off the ledge, because Duck Hunt has very limited options. Of course, there's cans, of course. However, once you get past those, those cans, you can kind of guess where Duck Hunt will be going uh, as they recover. So hopefully, here comes Jen, who's really good at the situation. It's the same kind of psych out uh, their opponent. And the drop down backer will be taking that as well. Yep, Jen's been just getting so much out of these uh, invincible options, you know, the, the back air and the dash stack. And I really, feel like, I really feel like that's how Jen has been winning a lot of neutral thus far. Uh, we've seen Fawn, like, throw down the, uh, the goon a couple of times like that. And Jen just, like, does not respect the goon at all. Just comes in with the dash stack and is able to start his own advantage state. Okay. Yeah, and Jen has to keep that advantage state going as much as they can before Fawn, uh might possibly take that, that second stock, which is looking real red, really crisp for Jen. They might do it right now with the back throw. Missing the can, Just however. Barely. Fortunate, truly unfortunate, giving Jen a little bit of the sort of saving grace. And, you know, I we, we haven't talked about it yet, but I mean, taking uh, Palutena to Battlefield, I yes. feel like is... I, I don't really know about it because we've already seen, you know, Jen just do so well uh, coming back from uh, from off stage. Just because, you know, the platforms give give Palutena so many options. Jen loves to go for the, uh, you know, the platform cancels with the teleport. Absolutely, and as you should with Palu. Uh, that's only one of her little tech techniques that you really uh, have to really uh, learn as Palu to really have a successful career or a successful run with the character. However, we're having Jen having a really good lead against Fawn unless they're able to kind of connect these double up airs, which they are not able to, unfortunately. But as long as they keep away from uh, Jen as much as they can, they should be having a, some of a winning chance. However, Jen doing a really good job with the left situation, which Jen's really good at. Jen just barely missing that uh, pivot grab. Right there. <laughs> the can. The, 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 <laughs> the auto reticle just kind of like, ah, oh, the can, the can, the can. That's my target, right? Yeah, yeah, Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Target. See what, what, see what happens when you do auto target? What a mash by Jen right there, not getting caught by the uh, the setup there. Fawn was looking for a can setup, not able to find it. Uh, you don't want to get back thrown into that can again like we saw in the first stock anyway. It's super judgmental. It makes you feel like a little, 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 little fool. Oh, no, no, no. No, we're good, we're good. Should be yeah, fine. We're fine. Uh, Duck Hunt has an air, do or yeah. air dash for some reason. But, but there the is no recovery on that, damn. Not, no, not at all. Dead. The late down tilt into yeah. back air, that's that's death. And the slight patience from the back air as well, because typically when Palu does go for back, um, sorry, down tilt um, into back air, we you typically see them go into the uh, the back air immediately, but Jen waited, wait for that opportunity for the full hop. Down tilts did Jen do? That was like three. A million. You have to. You got it. I mean, it's, it's such a long-lasting move. Why not? And it goes so low, you can easily yeah. just hit, uh, hit him off from the ledge. I'm going straight into uh, round two.
Yep, and small instead, battlefield. Yep, going right to small battlefield, eliminating completely that first, uh, the very top platform, instead of leaving a lot of more open air for Duck Hunt to really uh, use um, their up air much, much easier. But that's also the thing that Paolo can do as well. No! Oh, that's the punish for your really long recovery all the way underneath the stage, trying to air dodge, and Jen got that read beautifully with the dare. So I, I do understand what uh, Fawn is going for here with, with uh, Small Battlefield. We saw in game one, Fawn tried to try to uh, set up uh, like that classic Duck Hunt ledge trap setup. Where, yes. you, know, you put the, the goon underneath the platform, and then you try to react to an option from there. And of course, getting rid of that top platform is another route of escape gone for Jen. But I mean, Fawn has some work to do right now after that uh, unfortunate low, uh, low percent death. Spawn and Spawn enter the stage with two socks, in my opinion. That's yeah. all I see. You know, good on Jen for actually acknowledging that uh, Fawn will be doing like some kind of uh, really good air dodge into recovery onto the ledge, but just oh, really good tech there, and just being like, ah, there, there's you the first stock, <laughs> boom. Might be seeing it again with the Palu Nair coming back on the ledge, making a little bit of a ledge, ledge trap situation. Uh, making it difficult for Fawn to come back safely. Boom! Oh. Catching the jump in with a backer once more. Fawn tried to Fawn tried to uh, you know mix up their timing, but all Jen had to do was just react right yep. there. Back air coming out so quick, and now it's one stock to three. Fawn has so much work to do right now. Yeah, and this is this is even like right. This is this is Jen 81 percent easy, and you have like, oh the what? last hit of the up air. So, Nard. so late, Nard. and Fawn was at like 60. Yeah, but it was so high into the blast zone, you were going to eat that. So unfortunate for Fawn. Yo, Paulo just sent uh, Duck Hunt to heaven, that's all I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy heaven. No, nah, dude, that, that dog's going to hell right there. That, <laughs> that, that, that was hell. That was yeah. going sent to hell. Nah, that what was... if you wanted to go to heaven, but, but God, then said... God said... Remember this tweet you made? <laughs> <laughs> God pulling up my whole Twitter profile, <laughs> like, hey, yo. Well, I, I, like I was saying, um, this stage, I, I understand the pick for, you know, Duck kind of has really good um, up air juggles, I mean, yeah. they do. However, pa so is Palu. You know, yeah. and, and arguably, I think Palu's up air is much easier, or actually harder to get out of than uh, Duck Hunt's, because she, she, you saw how long that was? That shouldn't have. Yeah, I, I mean, I think what it came down to was the the stage pick was in order to benefit uh, Fawn's. Yep. Advantage state. Fawn did setups. not. Yep. Fawn did not get an advantage state that whole time. Fawn didn't.